What's up guys, CypherPole808 coming back to you with another Black Clover live reaction. So this will be the final chapter for me to get caught up, chapter 279. If you haven't seen my previous video, uh, check out the link in the uh, icon above. Uh, now that you have, let's jump right in. So uh, just a quick recap at the end of chapter 278, last chapter, uh, we had Jack and Nock versus uh, Dante from the Dark Triad. Um, Noct was able to put on this armor using his devil powers to kind of resist the gravity, but Jack was getting kind of slammed down by it. Um, but Noct was kind of pushing Jack to go beyond his limits and kind of rile him up and insult him and uh, push Jack to kind of come up with blades able to cut through gravity so that he was able to move. And uh, Dante was like, that's still not enough, but it looked like Jack was able to inflict a uh, damaging blow on Dante right at the end of the chapter in the last panel. So uh, let's jump in and see what we got going on. So, okay, so we're not jumping back to uh, Jack and Dante. We're jumping back to uh, Mario Leona uh, fighting that big monster. Um, okay, so she's laughing. Is that all you've got, demon? What a phenomenal mage. She defeated an ancient demon all by herself. Okay, so all the other mages are kind of marveling at how strong she is and how she's able to defeat this huge demon all on her own. Um, Ralph, Division Commander Albert. Okay, so uh, some reinforcements look like they're arriving. I'm glad you're all right. So you met Noct as well then, yes. Master Yuno has become a skilled wind mage. In appearance, he's the very image of Lady Ciel. Okay, so his mother, I'm guessing. Uh, and he has Lord Lois's strong heart. Wind magic, I see. Still, with Master Yuno and the others, perhaps. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, okay, so we have Yuno. And, okay, so we're kind of flashing back to everyone, kind of see where they're at fighting uh, the different Dark Triad members. Uh, I see. Our kingdom's strongest magic knights appeared to be even stronger than I'd anticipated. We still have the ample time before the gate to the underworld opens. Okay, so they still got some time. They're battling. Um, they still got time to prevent it from actually opening. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got Jack. Wow, so you're going to entertain me too. Okay, so Dante's actually like, all right, so you are able to do something to entertain me. This is going to be fun. Uh, shut up. Just die already. Okay, so Jack trying to go full beast mode as much as he's capable, fighting against Dante. Uh, what is this feeling? Okay, so they're getting some, I don't know if it's an ominous feeling. Uh, what is this? Those are, what are those? So it's like the whole uh, like top part of the kingdom is being enveloped in these enormous roots. Uh, okay, so this is the tree of Clilfoth. Uh, Plumed. Union mode fellas. Okay, so not looking a uh, pretty beast in his union mode. Shadow magic. Heaven shadow second sight. Okay, so he's able to kind of see what's going on, the overall situation. At the site of the advent of Cleofalt Underground, I sense magic beside Yami and Vengeances. Okay, so what else? Okay, so this guy from the kingdom that um, kind of engineers magic stuff. Isn't that Morris? Yeah, Morris, the magic scholar who was exiled from the Diamond Kingdom. So maybe he's down there doing something to kind of speed up the process and uh, eliminate the time they have for stopping it. Okay, so he's over there laughing. So even the arbitrary act of eccentrics can sometimes be useful. Using the wisdom of the Heart Kingdom, I discovered a way to accelerate the tree of Quillfall's growth. To think that in exchange for being born blind, I'd be blessed with abilities like this. Okay, so he is uh, making it grow faster. The abilities of a devil host. Okay, so he has devil. Through the power of a devil, my magic made it possible to extract the transplant, even Lolo Pacheco's wisdom. Oh, extract and transplant even Lolo Pacheco's... Okay, so he stole her uh, knowledge. That's how he's making the tree grow faster. Uh, I don't know how it's being done, but is Morris acting as an accelerant for the gate? The gate of the underworld is... Be okay, so it's starting to open. Oh, no, we have to eliminate him. Oh, whoa, what is this? This crazy-looking uh, demon over here. There's, there's two of them. Okay. Whoa. Just huge uh, attack. Horn gets cut off. 
Fellas, characteristic agility. Those two. I missed. I hit. They're devils of the highest order. Right now, it's all fun, isn't it? Yes. It's so fun. Okay, so uh, are these uh, two devils that escaped from the slight opening? Um, possibly because they're of the highest order. They're the strongest. So they don't need a fully open gate in order to uh, escape. So, wow. Definitely uh, hype. Um, can't wait to see this when it gets animated. Uh, can't wait to see what comes up in the next chapter. Uh, kind of wondering when Ass is going to show up and kind of... Is he going to have to take all of these devils and devil users on by himself? Or are the other members going to kind of step up? Um, yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, it's definitely pretty hype. The tree of Quilfoth is uh, being accelerated. So uh, you're going to have to deal with Morris and see kind of what he is capable of. Not only with being able to grow the tree, but if someone gets down there to try and stop him, we'll be able to see kind of his combat abilities. Um, he is blind, but I don't think that's going to be a hindrance to him. Uh, but anyways, that's my final uh, Black Clover chapter review for the day. Thank you guys if you watched all the videos or even if you only watched this one. Um, like, comment, and subscribe and have a wonderful day.